Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and also full review. Uh, I played enough of this game that I feel confident in calling this a full review. This is for Undergrowth VR Maze, a game released today on the Steam Store. September 15th, 2021, for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. It normally retails for 20 bucks. It's on a release sale, 24% off. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game, and I'm testing this out on the Oculus Quest 2 using the Oculus Link cable. As you can see, you do have full look of motion and smooth and snap turning. I am playing standing, just because uh, there's some activities here that I think are better done standing. Um, there's like a little hit a, throw a ball up and try to knock down the wood planks. And I believe a little game of croquet as well. So let's go into the maze. Uh, actually, part of the game is exploring the area outside the maze. The maze itself is actually not challenging at all. Now, normally when you approach these signs, there's a narrator. And she's supposed to give a line. But um, I've noticed that the longer that I play this the less that she does the lines. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a bug because when I first played it, she would always say something. Um, this is, this game is running on the cry engine and have, I'll be honest, the performance is not very good. Now I am running this on a high, but I have tried different settings to see if I can get something good. Um, this is the best so far. So what I did is I changed it from the default of uh, rendering with DX11 to rendering with DX12. And it seems to look better. And it's not running better, but at least it looks better. <laughs> but I am noticing several issues. You know, pop-in, uh, problems with shadow. Uh, don't forget his friend at the bottom. Yes, he has a friend. He has like a, a rat. This is uh, Ganesha. And there's some text here. Um, just the whole presentation of this is pretty low quality. Um, I thought these scans would be better. Not that they're awful. They're not awful scans. But, you know, they're not as good as we're used to in some other programs. You know, this is not the best. It's not the worst either. Not the worst scans I've seen. But, um, you know, not the best either. And there's just some issues with the scans, especially if you look really close. Just low detail, uh, not the highest textures. And then these, <laughs> the presentation here is, is pretty bad. Um, it looks very amateur. Um, a lot of the garden, a lot of the maze, a lot of the foliage, uh, you know, the trees and whatnot, they might look good at, at a certain distance, but they look pretty poor up close. So look, look at, well, we can't get too close to the flowers, but if you get really close, you can see it's like uh, paper thin and it doesn't have good depth to it. So it doesn't look like, especially here, you see the very low textures, low resolution, and that's why it just doesn't look good up close. Um... At a distance, they look fine. If you get too far away, though, they look kind of blurry. And um, let's go ahead and let's go through the maze a little bit more. Uh, with the trees, I noticed a lot of pop-in issues. Um, before I had it on DX11, it looked very weird, especially at the top. I said, well, what is... Well, actually, there you can see uh, that tree over there looks like it has four floating things above it. I have no idea what that is. There, too. Like, what is that? That must be some kind of... Uh, visual glitch. We don't want to spend too much time in the maze, but I do want to, want to check out some of the the uh, items, some of the activities. But uh, I don't know if you can tell the visual glitches I'm noticing. Like I said, a lot of pop in.
and your normal walking speed is just a little bit too slow. This is as fast as you can move. There's no way to move faster. So like I said, you do have full locomotion. You do have smooth turning, but it is very slow. Uh, performance is not very good at all. Uh, I'm getting about 45 frames per second. You know, it does vary, though. Um, it'll go as low as 40, go up to 60, and then drop back down to 40. So it, it's not a steady 45 frames per second. It does vary. Um, which really shouldn't be happening. There's not a whole lot going on, but there are lots of visual glitches. And let's see. Let's try to go this way. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take the long way. Um, now, to fully explore the entire map does take a while. I would estimate it took me maybe a little over 30 minutes to explore the full map, but a lot of it, it just has to do with the, your default walking speed is so slow. So it does take a while to explore the, in this game just for that reason. Now, you're supposed to be enjoying the ambient sounds. Uh, and they're not bad, but I wouldn't say they're great either. I would say they're rather generic. And as far as the museum pieces, I mean, again, the scans just aren't good enough for you to really enjoy. The mythical uh, hero of Troy in action. You know, the DX12 might look better, but I think we are, we're having so many more graphical issues that it's probably not worth it. You should probably stick to DX11. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that on desktop view, but it does look nicer on DX12 for sure. But I think I'm seeing more graphical issues now, more I'm glitches. Just like you. Different, complex, and unique. And the voice, the, bad thing. the voiceovers, you know, they're okay for what they are. You know, just little positive messages as you walk around. But the signs, again, <laughs> look very low quality, and the sound mix is, is pretty bad. It sounds very amateur. It's like they got a friend to do it over a USB mic. It's not very high quality, so just the sound doesn't sound mix doesn't sound very good. So I'm not going to fault the voice actor, because it's hard to tell when the quality is so, so low. So this is basically the game here. Okay. <laughs> now you can see the ball goes all over the place it clips through the hand so there's some issues here with, with the game and then you do <laughs> yeah yeah the, the physics is just not right and then you can knock down you see yeah the physics is, is not very good so you saw at a distance you could see some graphical issues on the trees, but when you get up close, they look a little different and stuff pops in and out. So there you go. I saw an issue was like, it looked like some boxes outside, but once you get closer, it corrects itself. Um, so those are definitely pop in issues, which takes away the enjoyment from the experience. Um, let's go ahead and let's go outside the maze. Like I said, the maze is actually not that difficult. And I'm looking at the sign there. It should be readable from this distance, but it's not. Um, now it's readable. I am capable. Well, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> you know, I, I don't like being mean. I don't like being negative on an experience. But I have to be honest with you guys. This is just isn't very good. Uh, there's much better nature walking simulators out there than this one. And just everything about this is subpar. Uh, I think choosing the Cry engine was probably a bad choice because um, you need very good optimization to do these nature walking simulators correctly. You know, you want the best visual looking experience, but that still can get 90 frames per second. Using the Cry engine to try to do that is probably a poor uh, choice. And just a cry engine, just from my experience, unless you have a AAA developer who can make it run well, it's really doubtful an indie developer can get the cry engine to be well optimized. And I think they failed here. 
Um, but yeah, you walk around, you can walk around this area. You're actually supposed to be looking for uh, secret items. And once you find them, there's a poem that's read to you. Let's try to do that. However, I will say that I have found them. And at first they were reading poems. But now that I've played the game and I've gone back to these locations, they're no longer reading the poem. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's an intended feature. Uh, <laughs> I keep saying that with this game. And again, you see that? You see those? Do you see those movements? It's like somebody's walking over here, but those are just graphical glitches. Um, even without these graphical glitches, though, I would say you know this is just mediocre presentation of a nature environment. So here's one of the secret objects you're supposed to find. Another hidden item found. And the first time that I found these. A poem was read. Another hidden item found. But now they're not doing it, so I can't can't let you in on the poem. You'll have to buy this game yourself and find it for the first time, and then maybe they'll read a poem. But after that, they won't. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think this fails in every respect, and I'm sorry to say that. I'm sure these developers put their heart and soul into this, but I would maybe guess that they just don't have the experience to to have done it, uh, executed it properly. So you end up with this, which is not a good experience. Um, it's not worth twenty bucks. <laughs> the twenty buck, the twenty dollar price here is is very uh, outrageous given what's here, and the visuals aren't good enough to be charging twenty bucks. Performance is not good enough. The content, there's just not enough there. Um, I would expect better sounds, maybe some music, better narration, better museum pieces, and more museum pieces. You know, it's not just the lack of museum pieces, but just the quality of them is pretty low as well. So if I have to rate this experience, I would give it a 3.5 out of 10. You know, with what's here, Right now, I would say at most, if they fixed it, optimized it, it would be like maybe a five dollar experience. If you know, assuming look what you found, assuming they add more content, you know, add more museum pieces, optimize it, uh, you know, just make it, make it a faster walking speed, just improve the experience. It might be worth five dollars in the future, but right now it's not worth anything. Definitely not worth 20 bucks. If this were free to play, I would give it a 5 out of 10. But with the current asking price, I would give it a 3.5 out of 10. There's much better experiences. There's better nature walking simulators. There's better museum pieces um, that are in better environments than this. So I, I just can't recommend it. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play, but also full review for Undergrowth VR Maze. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh, by the way, there's just a red carpet that you're supposed to find. It doesn't do anything, though, so this is something it you're seems supposed to... that you have discovered the blanket. Yeah. This is the perfect place for you to watch the clouds roll by. Okay. I will say the clouds look nice, so that's one positive thing about this game. The clouds look nice. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.